guys, so just a little while back, I did a video on how to do a driftwood look with Homestead House Stain and Finishing Oil in One, and I walked you through the entire process. And I talk about in the video, can you do this same look with paint? And my answer in the video was yes, you can. Um, and there's definitely differences. Well, I've done it with paint, and I wanted to kind of share my experience with you guys so that you could compare and decide which one works better for you. So let me just start by saying, I definitely like the stain and finishing oil as my primary. I don't like how long this took me to achieve the same look. So what I mean by that is when you're staining, I mentioned in my video, it takes like five minutes to achieve the look, um, but it's the dry time upon layering coats of stain that takes a while. So it's nine hours for the stain in between each layer. Um, if you remember or if you haven't watched that video, um, in order to achieve the gray look that I wanted, it was almost seven coats of stain, I think six or seven coats of stain. And so that's nine hours in between each coat. Now it took less than, you know, 10 minutes to apply the stain, wait and wipe it back. So the process is really, really fast and easy. And the same thing applied when I went to put on the white and dry brush it on. It was literally minutes and I was done. So the biggest part of doing it that way is waiting in between the coats to dry. Okay, so the, the actual process of achieving the look is super simple. Well, I have this little nightstand behind me. It's for the same client that I did that dresser for, and the whole thing is solid wood except for the top. So I was not able to achieve that same look with the stain and finishing oil for this. So I figured I'd give it a go and try it with the paint. So I did. I've used Fusion Mineral Paints, and I used Little Lamb, which is the lighter gray base. Um, I used Soapstone and brush that on, which is the dark gray, and then casement as the white. So this is a quicker drying process. Literally, you can put that paint on and start sanding in between the coats um, that you layer on within 30 minutes. I mean, it's pretty darn quick. The difference, it took me forever to achieve the same look. So it's a lot of fussing, it's a lot of layering, it's a lot of patience, it's a lot of, is this the same look? So it, 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 isn't difficult by any means, but I gotta tell you, I did not fuss with the stain at all. I layered my stain, I dry brushed my white, I was done. I had to just be patient and wait for it to dry. This, um, I have just fussed and fussed and fussed trying to achieve the same look, and I just felt for myself, I would way rather do the stain and finishing oil than the paint. So I haven't done this with the paint in quite a while and now I kind of know why. Um, my patience level was kind of wearing thin because I wasn't achieving the same look and if I was trying to go for the same look, I had to keep on working it. So it, it did create a lot of work for me. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update to that video because I mentioned about painting it to achieve the same look. I'll show you one up close so you can see it. It's definitely doable um, and it's obviously just a preference what you like to work with. Um, I'm still working on the piece now. The top is completely done. I have sealed it with General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in a satin to give it the same effect that the stain had which is just a very satin sheen look and it looks really darn good. I mean, it's it's super, super close. It's just a lot more workability time that it took. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys if you were interested. And thank you so much for watching. I totally appreciate it. Subscribe so you can keep getting my videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks you guys. All right, so here's an up close of the driftwood effect with paint. And this is done with Fusion Mineral Paint Line. I use Little Lamb which is the light gray as the base. And then I brushed on the darker gray, which is soapstone. And then I used casement for the white and dry brush that on. But as you can see, and I'm gonna show you a picture of the dresser that I matched this to go with, the two effects are extremely similar. So it's just trying to achieve the same colors if you're trying to match up. If you're not trying to match something up, then you know this on its own is perfect. So there you go.